All right then, gang. So before we go any further with Express, I want to talk about something called middleware. Now, middleware is basically a name for any code which runs on the server between getting a request and sending a response. So the request comes in and any kind of code or function that runs between getting that request and sending a response is technically middleware. Now, the use method is generally used to run some middleware code, and we've seen that already when we handled our 404 cases. Now, we don't just have to have one bit of middleware, we could have more than one piece of middleware that runs on the server. So in this case right here, three functions would run on the server before maybe a response is sent. Now, the functions that run in our get handlers are also essentially middleware. Remember, middleware is just functions or code which runs on the server between the request coming in and the response going back to the browser. The difference being that get handlers right here only fire functions for get requests to a certain route. The use method right here, they run for every type of request to all routes, including post requests. Now, middleware runs from top to bottom in our code and it runs that way until we exit the process or explicitly send a response to the browser so for example say we have all this middleware on our server now we send a request to just forward slash and that request comes to the server the first lot of middleware in the use function that fires and it gets to this second one which is a get handler still middleware and it matches this route and this function fires as well now inside this function we send a response to the browser now beyond this get request therefore no other middleware is executed because the response is being sent therefore we don't carry on down the code so the order of middleware is very important to how it runs and we've actually already been using middleware a lot without really noticing when we've been adding route handler functions or setting up 404 handlers with the use method. Now, aside from route handlers like this, there's a ton of other stuff we can do with middleware. So for example, we could create a logger middleware function to log the details of every request coming into the server. We could create middleware for authentication checks. We can use middleware to pass JSON data sent from post requests or use middleware to return a 404 page as we've already seen. There's many other things we can do with middleware as well. But now let's try creating our own middleware in the code. So then we've already seen a bit of custom middleware we've created down here using the use method. So this is to handle 404 cases. So for every request, this will fire as long as a response has not yet been set. Remember, it runs top to bottom. So if this matches, or this matches, or this matches, then it's gonna send a response in each of those cases. Now, if none of those match, it's gonna find its way to the bottom, and this middleware will fire, and then send a response to the browser, a 404 page, okay? So that's an example of using middleware. And this has to be at the bottom, remember, because if we place this at the top up here, then when a request comes in, because it runs top to bottom and this fires for every single request, it's not scoped to a specific URL, then it's gonna send a response straight away at the top for every request and we're gonna get a 404 for every request. And the code is never gonna reach any of these handlers, right? So that's why it has to be at the bottom. It's kind of like a catch-all. So now let's create our own custom middleware that's going to sit at the top. And this middleware is going to log some details out to the console for every request. So let's try that. So again, we're going to say app.use to create some middleware. This takes in a function. And inside this function, we can take in the request object and also the response object. Now, what I'm going to do in here is just log a few things to the console. And I'm going to paste that so you don't have to get bored watching me type that out. All I'm doing is saying a new request was made, then I'm outputting the host, which is a property on the request object, the host name, that should be localhost, then the path, and then the method. So let's take a look at this in action. Remember, this is gonna fire for every single request because it's at the top. So I'm gonna open up my terminal, make sure we're running the server, which we are, and then I'm going to just refresh over here. Now, if I take a look over here, we can see a new request was made. The host is localhost, the path is forward slash, and the method is get. 
So path right here is a bit like the URL property we used before. But if we go back to the browser, we can see that this is actually still hanging. Nothing's happened. And if I go to something else like forward slash about, we can come over here and we can see these details are logged and the browser still hangs. It's not gone to the about page. Why is that? Well, that's because after Express runs this code right here, it doesn't know what to do next. It doesn't know how to move on to the next middleware down here. So let's address that issue next. So we've seen how the browser hangs when we run this middleware right here because Express doesn't automatically know how to move on. We have to explicitly tell it to move on to the next function down here. And we do that by using a function called next. Now we get access to that function up here in the parameters. So we can say next right here. So this is a function and all we have to do is invoke it right here. And that says to Express, look, we're finished inside this middleware. Now move on to the next lot because we're not sending a response to the browser. We just wanted to do something. Now you can move on. And so it finds this function to do that and comes down here and finds whatever URL we've gone to, for example, forward slash about, and it will fire that handler as well. Okay. So if I save this now and preview and we'll go to the homepage, now it works and we still get the information logged to the console. Cool. So let's just test this out a little bit more by creating now another bit of middleware. So all I'm going to do is copy this and I'm going to paste it right down below and I'm going to get rid of these things right here. And all I'm going to do inside here is just say in the next middleware. So a really pointless piece of middleware, <laughs> but nonetheless, I just want to demonstrate what's happening. So a request should hopefully come in now to the server. It fires this middleware, does all this login, goes to the next bit of middleware, comes down here and says, okay, well now I'm going to fire this middleware. It logs this to the console and then it carries on because we say next. Then it comes down here and tries to match one of these things. All right. So let's save that and preview. So if we go to, for example, forward slash about by clicking this link over here, we get the page, everything works. And in the console, we can see a request was made. All of this was logged and now we're in the next middleware. So it fired that one as well right here. Now, just a quick test. If we were to say place this after the home page right here, this is the home page handler and save it. If I now go to the home page, then we get this page, but over here, we don't get this log to the console for that request. We get it right here, but this is a request from the CSS. So don't confuse that with us going to a different page. If we scroll up, we can see right here, the path was just forward slash the method get, and we don't get in the next middleware right there because we send a response right here. So it never reaches this. Okay. So one of the great things about using Node and Express is that there's tons of middleware functions already created for us that we can use. For example, there's middleware called Morgan, which is a logger, and it does a similar thing to our custom middleware where we log stuff to the console, but it's better than this. Uh, there's also one called Helmet, which is a security piece of middleware. There's middleware for using sessions, cookies, validation, loads of different things. So all of these middleware functions are ready made for us. So we don't have to write all of our middleware from scratch every time. If there's a middleware package that solves the issue, we can just use that. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use a third party middleware called Morgan, which is a logger. And we can just install this using NPM, then require it like this. Then down here, we can use Morgan by saying Morgan and invoking the function and then passing in an option, which basically dictates how the log is going to be formatted. So let's go and do this. First of all, open up your terminal and cancel out of the process, then install Morgan by saying NPM install Morgan. Remember, if you've got an old version of NPM, then you need the double dash save flag. Otherwise, just press enter and that's going to install it for us. And we should see that now inside our package file or right here. Cool. So now let's require this at the top. So const Morgan is equal to require and then it's going to be Morgan. 
and then down here what i'm going to do is get rid of this middleware i'm also going to get rid of the middleware we created down here we don't need that and then up here i'm going to say we want to use so app.use some middleware now we don't use our own function like this and do something inside it instead we can just invoke the function we required right here this bit of middleware so morgan and then we want to pass through an option i'm going to use the dev option and again that just dictates how it's going to be formatted what we log to the console so if i save this now and run nodemon app then hopefully this is all going to work i'm going to go to the website and refresh and we can see this logged to the console right here now if i go to the about page we're going to see this logged again so that is what this bit of middleware is doing and we can change this in here with different options you can read all about it on the morgan documentation so if i refresh we can see it's slightly different the way it's output this is this one this is this one not much difference but slightly different so let's change that back to dev and try a new one new blog and we can see this right here cool so that's third-party middleware in a nutshell again there's absolutely loads of middleware we can use and we can also use middleware which comes shipped with express and we'll do that to serve static files like css files for our html pages Okay then my friends, so currently if we added some kind of static files to our project over here, for example images or a CSS file, then we wouldn't be able to automatically access that file from the browser. So let me just demo this, let me create a new file and just call this like styles.css and then inside here let's just do like a body selector and say the background is going to be black, right? Now, if I try to access this styles.css file from the front end, I'm not going to be able to. I can't do something like this, you know, forward slash styles.css. Um, it's not going to give me that. In fact, I'm just going to get the 404 page. So if we can't access them from the browser like this, then even if we place a link to them currently inside our templates, our HTML. So, for example, if we go to the head, we couldn't add... A link inside the head like this oops like this which is going to link to style sheet or not style sheet styles.css this wouldn't work it wouldn't just reference that in the browser and I can demo that as well if we go to the home page and inspect and if we go to the network and then refresh we can see that this styles.css returns a 404 error because it's not allowing us access to that file. So the server protects all of our files automatically from users in a browser, so they can't just access any of our files whenever they want to. To allow the browser access to something, we have to specify what files should be allowed to be accessed. In other words, what files should be public. Now to do that, we can use some ready-made middleware that comes along with Express and that is the static middleware so let me cross this off and go over here and go to the app and i'm going to create a little comment right here that says middleware and static files and by static files i mean things like css images that we're going to make public right so the first bit of middleware we have is this morgan but now we also want to create one above that so app.use and we want to use express Dot static so here we're setting up our static files and all we have to do is pass in here a folder name for example public and that means that if I create a folder over here called public then anything inside that folder is going to be made available as a static file to the front end so if I place styles.css inside there now and go back to the browser and refresh then you can see that those styles are loading because we're linking to that from the nav and now it's accessible right not the nav sorry from the head right here so it's important we don't say forward slash public forward slash styles we just do forward slash styles and it just looks automatically in the public folder because we specified in app.js that that is the folder we want to make public to the browser
Okay, so likewise, if I try to just access this directly, styles.css, then we can see that style sheet. It works, right? It's public to the browser. So all I really want to do now is go back to the head and take all of this stuff inside the style tag and cut that from there and instead paste it inside this thing. So now we have all of our styles inside an external file, which is better than having them directly in this head. So if I save it now, hopefully, if we refresh, then we still see all the same files, even though now they're not directly embedded inside the head, they're in a separate CSS file that we're linking to from the head. And the same is true for any other kind of file. If we place images in here or other text files or whatever we place in here, all of that is gonna be accessible at the root level on our website from the browser. And it's all achieved by using the static middleware that comes along for the ride when we use Express.